Childhood trauma rewires the brain and the immune system. We often think of trauma as something we survive, something we move past. But what if early trauma doesn't just live in memory? And what if it rewires the body? Emerging research is painting a new, more unsettling picture. Childhood adversity doesn't just shape who we are psychologically. It leaves a permanent imprint on our biology. From the structure of our brains to the way our immune systems behave, early life stress has ripple effects that can last a lifetime. These changes aren't just emotional, they're cellular. They reprogram immune responses, ignite chronic inflammation, and alter neural circuits involved in emotion and regulation. This isn't just about trauma making us feel bad, it's about how adversity makes us more biologically vulnerable to conditions like depression, bipolar disorder, and anxiety decades later. And it's why two people with similar life stories can follow very different mental health paths. Some remain resilient while others unravel. The difference may lie in how trauma shapes the immune brain dialogue. New studies are identifying specific inflammatory markers tied to trauma, biomarkers that could be used not just to diagnose, but to prevent. Imagine if we could detect risk before symptoms even begin and intervene before suffering takes hold. This is where mental health science is headed, from reactive treatment to proactive prevention, from managing symptoms to targeting the underlying biological machinery of distress. And at the heart of it is a radical idea that mental health isn't just about the mind, it's about the immune system. It's about resilience, not just as a trait, but as a biological shield. And if we can understand how that shield is built or broken, we just might be able to reshape the future of psychiatric care. This video is based on the research paper, From the Cradle to the Grave, by Sarah Paletti in Brain Medicine. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.